Bitcoin Explained as well as my thoughts on it. Come check it out. What's up guys, I'm Sean from Gym Class Finance. Today we're gonna to be talking about Bitcoin in layman's terms. There's a lot of talk about it, it's a little hard to understand, and then I'm also gonna share my opinion on it. I'll first start out and say that I am not a financial advisor. I've used my own research to come up with my opinion on the topic. And what a topic it is. I realize there's a lot of opinions out there on Bitcoin, so if you disagree, or maybe even if you do agree, please leave a comment down below. I really appreciate those. I try to respond to any comments that I get. First, you have people who believe it is a complete sham. They believe it's worth nothing and you're never gonna change their opinion on that. And then on the other hand, you have people who wholeheartedly believe that Bitcoin is the future. They believe that it could even be worth $1 million per Bitcoin. Let's get into Bitcoin Explained. So first, what is it? Bitcoin is a digital asset or currency. It allows people to send or receive money across the internet, even to someone they don't know or don't trust. Money can be exchanged without being linked to a real identity. How and when did it start? Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency invented in 2008 by an unknown person or group of people using the name Satoshi Nakamoto and started in 2009 when the implementation was released as open source software. Interesting that this happened during the financial crisis. Bitcoins are created as a reward for a process known as mining. So what does it look like and how many are there? Bitcoin are essentially an incredibly intense code of zeros and ones. There are only 21 million available Bitcoins with 18.5 million of those already being mined, leaving less than 3 million left to be created. Mining Bitcoin is so intricate and complicated now that it is believed all 21 will not be mined in our lifetime. So how do you buy it and what's the point of it? You can now buy them across numerous brokerages or Bitcoin wallets. Everything we rely on when making an online purchase requires a bank or credit card to ensure that everything we are doing is safe and secure and provides proof that we made the purchase. That is until Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies came out. No bank or credit card can control its flow or put a fee on it. So that was a lot and there's still a whole lot more to know about Bitcoin, but hopefully that cleared a couple things out for you and maybe gave you some ideas for whether it's something you'd be interested in investing or not. So where do I stand on this and what do I believe? I believe you should smash that like button because that really would help me out if you haven't done that already. But in all seriousness, here it goes. With a stock ETF or index fund, you're buying businesses, which essentially are gonna be growing. And not only growing, but many of them also are giving dividend payments, which are basically money to you throughout the year. With Bitcoin, there's no dividends or growth. With Bitcoin, you're just hoping others are willing to pay a higher price for the hidden digital ones and zeros you paid for. With Bitcoin, there's also been reported theft, fraud, and government regulation regarding cryptocurrencies, and I just don't want to be part of something such high risk. I'm not interested in the volatility it has as well. I mean, just take a look at what has happened to Bitcoin in the last month. In some very recent years, it has dropped more than 50%, but obviously it's battled back several times. So I realize many people are making a ton of money off of it. I realize that businesses are opening their doors to uh, taking it as a form of payment. Uh, I realize there's a lot of celebrities and people that are out there talking about it, but Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies are not for me. I will not be buying Bitcoin or any cryptocurrencies anytime soon. Please hear me. If you are buying Bitcoin, please do not throw all of your eggs in one basket. I think there's still a ton of speculation with this and I just don't recommend throwing a lot of money. Be um, okay with any money that you invest in Bitcoin completely disappearing. Make it a very small portion of your portfolio. Stick with index funds, mutual funds, and ETFs for the majority of your investments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and let other people know about gym class finance. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, it's that simple. Oh, 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 oh,